This meditation is designed to help you overcome limiting beliefs in your mind. What we'll be doing is we'll first identify a limiting belief that you have about yourself. We'll bring it to the surface and then we will use a powerful affirmation that will help you to overcome that limiting belief. Help you reprogram a different story in your mind. Once you've affirmed it, we're then going to make the meditation even more powerful by giving you time to visualize the opposite belief. Imagine yourself embodying the opposite to what that belief is. That's what we're going to be doing today. And then hopefully by the end of this meditation, you'll be feeling powerful, you'll be feeling good about yourself. One thing that I will say about this meditation is the more it's repeated, the more powerful it will be. Because programming isn't an instant thing. If you want to reprogram your mind for success, you have to continuously tell yourself a different story until you believe it. See, these limiting beliefs take hold and they bury themselves deep down the rabbit holes of our mind. And it takes a lot of digging in order to get to them sometimes. So first of all, I just want to give you some space. A minute or so just to figure out what it is that you believe about yourself that limits you. You might feel like you're not as good as your co-workers. You might feel like you're an ugly person. You might feel like you aren't capable of achieving your dreams. You see, we pick up these belief systems along the way because society often imposes them upon us. Think about something negative that you think about yourself from time to time, something that you doubt about yourself. I'll give you a minute or so just to think. Now that you have surfaced this limiting belief and you're aware of it, I want you to repeat this powerful affirmation. This is where the reprogramming begins, here and now. Repeat after me, it doesn't have to be out loud, it can be in your mind. But you can speak it out loud too, if you wish. This belief has no power over me. It is not true. This belief has no power over me. It is not true true. This belief has no power over me. It is not true. This belief has no power over me. It is not true. This belief has no power over me. It is not true. This belief has no power over me. It is not true. This belief has no power over me. It is not true. This belief has no power over me. It is not true. This belief has no power over me. It is not true. This belief 
has no power over me. It is not true. This belief has no power over me. It is not true. This belief has no power over me. It is not true. This belief has no power over me. It is not true. This belief has no power over me. It is not true. This belief has no power over me. It is not true. This belief has no power over me. It is not true. This belief has no power over me. It is not true. This belief has no power over me. It is not true. We have to tell ourselves a different story in order for us to behave in a different way, in order to, for us to believe something different about our lives. Because the key to success in life is perception. Perception is key. How do you look at yourself? How do you look at the world around you? You have to sculpt a life that's working in your best interest. With that in mind, I now want to give you some time and space to visualize yourself living a life in your best interest. Imagine yourself behaving as if you believed the opposite to your limiting belief, whatever that may be. If you feel like someone that's low in confidence and like you will never be a confident person, imagine yourself being confident, standing on stage, doing something powerful. If you believe that you're an ugly person, then imagine yourself walking out on a catwalk, feeling empowered. Just imagine and visualize something really good about yourself that is opposite to your limiting belief. Because I can tell you now that what you are about to visualize is the truth. Because those limiting beliefs are negative and they are not true. I will give you a few minutes. Enjoy your space and time.
you for being a part of this journey. As I said previously, this meditation will be more powerful if you repeat it over and over again. Reprogramming doesn't just happen with a wave of a magic wand, unfortunately. But I want you to know that those limiting beliefs are not true. And I really do believe in you. I believe in the human potential and I believe in your potential. Stop doubting yourself in whatever way, shape or form you've been doubting yourself. It doesn't serve you. It's time for you to step into the real you. I have faith in you. Thank you for listening.